so we'll be sharing some of the resources which uh, we used so one cheap and easy resource which everyone most of you will have is a newspaper okay so subscribe to the hindu okay you might be getting hindu at your homes so the editorials you find in hindu they are of really good quality and uh, they are a really good source for your brc prep apart from that we have aon essays so the essays in aon they are a bit long but the quality of the essays they are really good so if you are able to uh, sit down and read for 20 25 minutes for the whole essay then that means you will be at a very good shape when you sit down for cat and you are reading 500 words a, a small article of 500 words so aon essays really actually helped me uh, during my prep because i focused majorly on aon essays then there is a telegram group it's it's actually a bot of uh, livement which gives you articles so we'll be sharing the um, ppt so you can follow this link then there is a site called al daily arts arts and letters daily so they have good articles on philosophy and all those topics in which like we engineers are not very comfortable with so uh, you guys can practice reading such topics as al daily so apart from that uh, there are some paid resources but yeah if you have a subscription then uh, the ken is really good new york times and all these uh, newspapers are really good but yeah they are behind a paywall so you need a subscription for that so one thing which uh, many people have asked is about what books to read so from what i know i think any and every book which you like is a good reading resource but still if the panelists want to recommend any specific books then i think uh, you can do that so i i'll just say that uh, go with uh, start reading books with the area you are comfortable with so it's it's no compulsion that you have to read fiction or non fiction but i was a person who liked to read non fiction more so that is something which i'm comfortable with so i started reading with that and slowly slowly i also tried exploring uh, uh, the other fiction and non fiction book so there is no set thing the only thing is you need fi- try and find some good uh, authors not preferably chetan bhagat or something like that uh, try for some uh, better authors and which have which use good better english yeah that's it from my side any of you want to add anything one thing i might add like the cat vocab is not very tough so i won't recommend you picking up some uh, books which have like very high level of english vocabulary generally you might for if you are like if that is your type of style or reading you can definitely go on but if you want to read only for the point of view of cat i think uh, uh, any book which has a moderate level of vocabulary is a good enough starting point that's what i feel so i have a different uh, totally. approach to it i have a totally different approach to it because uh, me being an engineer i have never so the number of novels that i've read in my life are just two novels and i i am ashamed of you on mentioning them so that's something that i did and i never have read a novel in the past 5 uh, to 6 years in my life but so that, uh, what i would like to say is that even without reading a novel you can improve your vrc scores and if just for the sake of uh, you know improving your vrc scores you will be indulging yourself to read a novel that will be your wrong habit and you would rather benefit more from reading certain articles or reading eon.co so that is something that i would like to say. perfect so one other question which people have asked fairly often is like uh, like any tips to attempt all 60 questions and i'll club club another question from my side on this is that how like me personally did not attempt all the questions but i focused on accuracy so if you want to touch up a bit upon speed versus accuracy part then yeah okay so i'll take this question right so uh, i have appeared for cat twice and one thing that i have been consistent consistently doing is that i have been attempting 34 questions so speed reading was never an issue for me so the only difference was that uh, was accuracy so one thing that i did was that i capped my number of attempts so what i did was that uh, during my mock season what i did was that i told myself that 25 questions is the most you can attempt. so instead so what happened was that i completed all of my 25 questions within let's just say 40 minutes so what i used to do was that the next 20 minutes i used to go again to the question put uh, put another 20 minutes uh, into those 25 questions and ensuring that i could extract the most out of them because i believe that accuracy is something that is more difficult to obtain than speed speed is something that you will get once you get the hang of accuracy so in my opinion probably you should focus on accuracy more than if anybody wants to add something i would like to give my point of view so like initially even i was in the same mindset that 
yeah we should focus on accuracy more but uh, what happened to me was i tried capping my uh, number of attempts and i did try the same strategy uh, of going through the options again and again but then i found that after a point my uh, accuracy rate it sort of plateaued it didn't increase a lot so by attempting lesser number of questions i was actually giving up on a potential to score more so uh, this actually varies from person to person if you are able to increase your accuracy by attempting lesser number of questions go for it okay so it's it's a trade off which you will have and that is subjective i feel so best way to do uh, find out what is your best ideal attempt is try it out in mocks okay so i tried it out and capping my number of attempts was not working for me i was just losing out on an opportunity to get some more questions right okay so and in some mocks it also happened that i scored lesser than what i would normally score if i had attempted all 34 questions so uh, i used to attempt all 34 questions and my accuracy was almost at 